Well, hello, Capricorn. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, Capricorn, we're going to go right into your reading. We're going to see what's going to come out for you today. This is going to be for Capricorn. Capricorn. Okay. First one that came out here is the Four of Swords. We have the uh, Queen of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Oh, wow. And the Death card. There's a lot of endings here. A lot. I think the last time I did your reading, it was very interesting. Um, it was it was not as positive as I would want it to be. And, you know, I was kind of debating on like, should I post it? But I'm like, it's here. I cannot, you know, whatever comes out. Um, and for it's for different reasons. I mean, it's just a lot of change. Sometimes here with the nine of swords, it's like overthinking things that are not as bad as bad as it is, or it seems. You have a lot of change here, and change could be very scary. But I love the fact here with the six of pentacles, it talks about you receiving support if you need it. Okay, and whatever whatever area it could be with your finances, it could be emotional. That's what I'm saying. Um, here with the Queen of Cups, again, I do see emotional, emotional. Um, for a lot of you, it could be because you have not felt loved in a very long time. Four of Swords talks about a pause, okay? For some of you, this is your health, okay? Whatever it is, whatever it is, I do see that there is going to be a lot of support for you, but there is change, okay? Let's go, <coughs> excuse me, let's go ahead, let's get it back into the reading. Now, what I am going to do, Capricorn... We are going to make sure we get some good out of this read. I don't want this reading to be negative because y'all already know I'm a solution-based channel. But I do want to make sure I address those who are, you know, going through something right now. They're seen. I just want to make sure that they know that they are definitely seen by spirit. Eight of Cups. I see that somebody may be waiting for you. I don't nothing. Oh, oh, okay. Wow. One more. Thank you. Oh, another one came out. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I see you moving forward here. It looks like maybe you were indecisive about something, but there is going to definitely be a change in your perspective. Um, I do see you moving forward. Okay. Five of Wands, there's a, oh, I feel like if this is a relationship, let's just talk about it. If this is a, I want to start with the relationship and then we'll get to your finances. If this is a relationship, I really do feel like there is a major issue in a connection right now. For a lot of you, you have not talked to your person. There's a lot of fussing and a lot of fighting. Some of you are um, so upset that you have a tendency to be very impulsive, Okay. Um, someone makes you upset and then, you know, how sometimes when you're little, you just want to hit somebody, right? I'm not saying that you're doing that, but it is a very impulsive energy because there's high emotion here. Eight of Cups is that feeling of wanting to walk away. And maybe this has happened in the past. Eight of Cups talks about walking away, a feeling of, of un, um, unfulfillment and dissatisfaction. But I love the fact that here with the magician, this is what's so amazing is that you're going to get it together right? The magician is like realizing that he has what he needs in order to move forward. Okay. Um, and that's pretty much what you're doing. You're gaining your confidence. You're being determined to not fall. Okay. Not, le not letting the negative energy get to you in any kind of way, in any sort of way. And this could be with a situation with your work, your living situation. It could be with family or a lover. Okay. Here with the Two of Wands, you made your decision. You're going to move forward here. And there is going to be a lot of change. But you may have to fight, you know, not physically, but fight your way out of a situation, even mentally, okay? It's very much conflict here. So what we're going to do, we're going to take some time with you. I want to start with that Four of Swords here and see what is going on with you, my beautiful Capricorns. Let's see. Four of Swords. Four of Swords. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. See, you need to rest. A lot of you are working too hard. A lot of you are emotionally drained. 
And I think it's a more than one reason. Some of you are not right. You're not at this moment right now, or maybe you've already passed it up. That's good, okay? But some of you are just emotionally drained or you're working too hard and spirit is like, slow down, slow down, okay? But I do feel like this is more so emotional just because the queen of uh, cups came out at the bottom again. Let's get the queen of cups. There's been a relationship here that, oh yeah, mm-hmm. That seems kind of strained. Somebody, there's mis mistreatment, I feel. Maybe ignoring even in a relationship. Someone, you know, whether you're with them or not, uh, treating you as an option, okay? Let's go ahead, let's get the Six of Pentacles. Let's see what comes out here. We are gonna get to your, your, your finances. Yeah, mm-hmm. Ooh, betrayal, hurt. And you need support from people. So if you need it, you it's going to, Spirit is going to make sure, excuse me, that you're going to have it. It's going to come in some way, shape, or form, okay? Spirit is going to make sure you get what you need. I love the fact that that Six of Pentacles, that that, you know, of course, what you've been through is you're going to get supported, maybe financially, maybe moving in with someone, or just, like I said, emotional support. That card. And you guys don't really like this change. You really don't. Yeah. And you don't like this ending. I feel like there's, you've been dealing with someone who's very impulsive and very inconsiderate. There's nothing you can do to change this person. For a lot of you, again, this could be anyone. You know, someone has let you down. You feel this feeling of, let, of, of disappointment. Overall, that's where a lot of you are. You didn't want this to be an end. You didn't want this to go away. But it's just, you can feel the resistance and too much pain here. You got two tens, so this is definitely a completion of something. Yeah, three of, so I'm not, not, I'm telling you, I'm not making these cards come out. Okay, you guys already know this is prediction reading as well, okay? So I do see you walking away from something, maybe because it's something that you found out. Um, and a lot of you, this could have already happened, but, you know, silent treatment is going on. Um, just, just overall unhappiness. Okay. I, see, I do see that there is a lot of pain here. Let's get the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands for Capricorn. And this is only a moment. It's not going to last. Yeah. You were dealing with someone who was very impulsive, very impulsive. Okay. For some of you could be moving, changing. That's another thing. Changing your, your, your address, location. I do feel like there is someone who has been coming in and out, in and out, in and out, will be trying to come back in here again, but it's not going to be anything, it's not going to, it's, it's going to be the same thing that it was when they left or how you were when you were in a connection. That's what I'm saying. And this is why I say here with the magician, you're going to have enough determination to walk away from that. Two of Wands is like, nope, something else is out there. Yeah, exactly. I just see you moving forward. Two of Wands. I totally see you moving forward here. Yep, strong enough. You're strong enough to do it. Because it. If some of you feel stuck or it's so hard to, for you to figure out if you want to just completely end this or not. And I do see that you're going to end something here. Let's go ahead. Let's get into your finances. Let's see what comes out here. This is going to be for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn. Okay, thank you. A lot of you were dealing with people who were liars, really, okay? This is interesting because reconsider a decision. There's a lot of decisions that you have to make here. We saw the two of swords twice. And this is for some of you because you could be staying. This person came back in, okay? But look at what came out. There's a lot of lying here. Beware. This is with people taking your money or taking advantage of you emotionally, okay? What do you want to invest in? You know, invest in people who wants who wants to invest in you. Okay, that's just what this is about. Let's go ahead. Let's get one more. Um, let's see what's going on. If anything is going to come out, yeah, I, unrealistic. I feel like there's a connection here that's completely just not. It's not where it's at. Some of you could be in the media. It could be uh, you could do something on um, the internet. I didn't really see anything. Let me see if I can find anything about your finances. So I see here, it says, say yes to the things you think you can't do. 
This is that magician card, meaning that you have everything it takes to accomplish your goal. It talks about you working hard, and I do see here new money. So what does it say? Something new you've been working on and will be very profitable, and maybe a new source of income, okay? So maybe a second one, something like that. Let's see. Let me see if I can get one more here for Capricorn. Some of you are investing Capricorn in maybe coins or the stock market. <laughs> oh, very lucky. So either way, you're going to get supported. Okay. I love the fact that luck came out. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Beware and unethical. I just feel like you're dealing with some very slimy people. Okay. Um, watch your money. I don't see any money problems. But this is just telling me more than anything when it comes down to your finding yeah, this stuck out stability. I see stability here, okay? And like I said, if you need help, it is definitely here for you, definitely. But this is what I have for you, Capricorn. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you are new, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you back here again later. Bye, Capricorn.